lose someone very close. Okay. So the question is about grieving, which is uh, viewed from a psychological sense, like grieving is going to be with you for a year, for five years, it's going to morph and change and it has certain stages. So there's definitely a value to viewing these kind of things in a psychological sense. And doing a bit of psychology every now and then is a good thing. But for the meditation, we want to take a different angle. And again, they're not exclusive, so doing one doesn't mean you can't do the other. With the meditation, you want to do a couple of things. Uh, one thing is, most important thing is, you notice when that grieving is not there. Because your mind will say to you that it's there all the time, and it isn't. Absolutely isn't. Maybe in your unconscious, maybe in some Freudian model of the universe, it's there all the time. But in actual experience, it's not. It's just arisen in consciousness in that second. Ten seconds before that, it wasn't there. And noticing when something isn't there will give you power over it. Because otherwise you say, well, I have this grief, this thing, this emotion, and it's there and it's heavy and I can't do anything about it. And... But to a meditator, he would say, no, no, I, I've been free of that grief for the last 22 of the last 23 minutes. It's not that powerful. It's not that all-consuming. The second thing that you do is you watch, this is more tricky, you watch as that grief ceases in the moment. And I've had this a number of times when I get annoyed at something, I turn around and I look at it and I wait until I'm not annoyed anymore. So grief can arise and you turn around and look at it and say, okay, then what? Do I crumble? Do I die? Do I collapse? Then what? And it's, no, 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 think about me. And then after a minute or so, because I'm not feeding it with thoughts, it starts to dissipate. If you can see the ending of something, even just once, you will now have power over it. It loses its power over you. So, for the meditation, that's what we're doing. You can't let go of grief. That's a big thing. You can let go, or you can train this muscle of letting go of one small thing at a time. Just this instant where this thing is tugging on your attention. Anybody else?